and in a dramatic flair. She decided to make public the letter she had stumbled upon years ago. Several years before Adeni and Collie were born. And yes, written by her late husband. The Shadows of a Past Betrayal. Adeni's grandmother, her baby, the well-respected Mensa family matriarch. In a fit of theatrical disbelief. Very slowly read aloud the revelations from the letter. Heightening the tension. Adeni, undeterred and carrying an air of regal poise, left the restaurant. Leaving Collie to digest the taste of both rejection and a farm woman. Hmm. I never thought Adeni could be that brutally dramatic. And believe me when I say that I have witnessed drama in its purest form. But this. This takes the cake. Collie, soliloquized while exercising the following morning. He couldn't help but ponder on their ill-fated dinner date. From my family gatherings turning into a battlefield because of heated debates over who stole Grandma Omiru's secret apple pie recipe. To epic battles for the coveted title of Monopoly champion. My family feudal dramas were more intense than a game of musical chairs at a rock concert. But nothing. Nothing quite like Miss Adeni Mensah's tantrums. Little did I know that behind every exchanged I bat and roll. Never mind sarcastic comments from her. A saga of epic proportions was brewing. Ready to unfold like a soap opera with a dash of comedy and a pinch of scandal. But I am ready. I will let her know that the stealthy movement of the leopard isn't out of cowardice. The battle line has been firmly drawn. Collie concluded. It wasn't long after his lamentations regarding the resounding failure of his ambitious dinner proposition that Collie received a phone call. He had been unexpectedly appointed along with three others to serve the nation. By showcasing its cultural richness to the world. And yes oh. Adeni Aide happened to be one of them. It was a national tourism project of epic proportions which he knew he couldn't turn down. Eager for the task. Kali contemplated setting traps for her. But first, the Lagos Festival, which was the following day, he thought would provide a perfect opportunity for relaxation. And he was keen to seize the chance to unwind. The following day, as Kole and his cousin Yenoho navigated the vivacious energy of the festival, they noticed that the air was thick with the aroma of exotic spices and the infectious beats of traditional music. Yenoho asked Kole if he was hungry as they walked past the Suya store. She however didn't wait for his response before moving closer to it. Kole shook his head at her impatience and decided to join the parade. He couldn't resist even if he wanted to, because the festival buzzed with vibrant energy as people danced to enchanting music. Kole, immersed in the rhythm, broke into lively moves. Unaware that as he turned the corner, his steps would lead him to collide with none other than Adeni, who was gracefully executing powerful dance moves too. Caught off guard, Collie and Adeni locked eyes in a shared moment of awkward surprise. With a blend of amusement and irony, Collie extended a hand to Adeni, saying, Well, this is certainly a memorable way to kick off our collaboration. Isn't it? Adeni with a twinkle in her eye, accepted the hand, replying, Indeed Kali. Looks like fate has a unique sense of humor. She then continued on her way, still bursting more smooth moves. I will certainly show you it does. Kali sheepishly thought to himself, smiling. Kali's cousin, Yenoho, who had witnessed the dance of fate collision offered guidance amidst the fleeting chaos. She shared tales of their family's intertwined histories, revealing hidden connections that went beyond the surface of rivalry. Dearest cause, she continued. 
Remember that news of your national assignment roles have hit the dailies, leaving no room for evasion. Anyway, it's getting late oh, let's go, she added. Em, I will try and be as civil as possible. Collie responded as they got in their cars. Please do. I think both of you will actually make a great team. And with that, they both left the festival. True to predictions and following the festival, the public eye became an unrelenting spotlight, as Collie and Adani were thrust into a collaboration that neither could decline. And as they delved into the intricacies of their shared project, the dynamics between Collie and Adani began to shift. Obligated to set aside personal differences for the sake of their national assignment, they started seeing each other in a new light. The layers of rivalry peeled away, to reveal unexpected facets of each other's personalities. Adeni, renowned for her tenacity in business, discovered Collie's innovative ideas and strategic thinking. Collie in turn, witnessed Adeni's unwavering commitment to preserving her family's legacy and her creative approach to showcasing their country's diverse beauty. While embarking on their national assignment, Collie and Adeni unavoidably found themselves traveling together on many occasions. Their maiden journey unfolded with a mix of excitement and tension. As they navigated the diverse landscapes while reluctantly exchanging stories and cultural insights. And it wasn't long before the duo unintentionally became a comedic pair. Creating laughter-filled memories as they navigated the twists and turns of both the assignment and their newfound travel companionship. Collie's sister, Jita, the first to notice the rather unexpected development, jokingly reminded him whilst they met up for lunch, that he was meant to set traps for her and not fall for her. Adding that Adini she believes, would make a fantastic sister-in-law. He grinned before retorting. Ouch. I forgot. There is still time sis. Never say never. As Koli and Adini however delved deeper into their cultural mission, a subtle emotional shift occurred and they began to realize their hearts were tuning into the same frequency. Despite agreeing to maintain a professional relationship, laughter lingered a bit longer. Glances became more meaningful, and the unspoken connection grew undeniable. In the quiet moment of cultural exploration, Koli and Adeni found themselves navigating a different kind of territory, where their hearts, in contradiction to their initial agreement, whispered the language of affection. As Collie and Adani continued their professional charade, the magnetic pull of their emotions intensified. Unable to deny their burgeoning feelings, they reached a pivotal moment where they realized that their hearts had triumphed over their initial agreement. Acknowledging the depth of their connection, Collie and Adani faced the daunting task of informing their families about their blossoming romance. The same, whose generational grudge they had carried like a treasured family heirloom. The revelation set off shockwaves. What? Especially when Adini's grandmother, a woman of dramatic flair, decided to make public the letter she had stumbled upon years ago. And yes, written by her late husband, Adini's grandfather. She was set to unleash the haunting shadows of a past betrayal. Adini's grandmother, in a fit of dramatic disbelief, read aloud the revelations from the letter, heightening the tension. The letter unveiled a long-buried but never forgotten or even forgiven family secret. Collie's great-grandfather had cheated her late husband's father who was Adeni's great-grandfather out of a business deal, with zero remorse. He also never returned the money he borrowed to set the first ever Omoru stores up. This revelation added an unexpected layer of complexity to Collie and Adeni's budding relationship. Faced with the shadows of his great-grandfather's misdeeds threatening to overshadow their love, Collie decided he couldn't and wouldn't let Adeni slip away. That was after he asked her grandmother for some time to deliver on their national assignment. Collie, impeccably dressed in a suit with an ethnic twist that mirrored his suave demeanor, and Adeni, exuding elegance in her traditional attire that blended modern chic with cultural heritage, navigated the exhibition grounds with determination. In a dazzling display of diversity, the National Cultural Richness Exhibition unfolded. 
weaving a vibrant tapestry that celebrated the myriad facets of the nation's heritage. As visitors meandered through the kaleidoscope of exhibits, they were transported through time, exploring the captivating stories embedded in each artifact and artistic creation. It was simply grand. The event not only served as a cultural bridge, uniting people from various backgrounds, but it also ignited a fervor for exploration. Tourists flocked to witness the spectacle, drawn by the promise of discovering hidden heritage gems. From traditional dance performances that echo through the halls, to mouth-watering culinary experiences showcasing regional delicacies, every aspect of the exhibition beckoned visitors to immerse themselves in the rich tapestry of the nation's identity. As the influx of curious travelers surged, so did the treasury income. The economic impact rippled through local businesses, hotels, and eateries, breeding new life into communities. The exhibition became not just a showcase of their cultural wealth but a beacon for tourism, enticing both local and international visitors alike. Thanks to the Lagos Cultural Festival's vibrant atmosphere that had provided the backdrop for a series of events that would alter Adeni and Collie's perceptions of each other forever. That collision at the festival, both literal and metaphorical, unbeknownst to them, had set the stage for a partnership that would showcase not only the diverse beauty of their country but also the unforeseen harmony between two sworn adversaries. Adeni and Collie's blossoming love served as a catalyst for change, melting away decades of animosity between their families. Faced with the undeniable connection between the two, the families realized the futility of holding on to past grievances. Embracing the joy that Adeni and Collie found in each other, they chose to foster their newfound unity and acceptance that marked the beginning of a harmonious chapter for both families. The Mensas also held a long meeting with their matriarch afterwards. Collie determined to make amends to the Mensas, offered to repay the debt with interest. Showcasing not just his love for Adeni but also his commitment to righting the wrongs of the past. Adeni's grandmother, initially caught in the whirlwind of family secrets, couldn't help but recognize the genuineness of Collie's love and his sincere desire to set things right. Touched by his gesture and convinced of the authenticity of their connection, she eventually gave her heartfelt blessings to Collie and Adeni's relationship. Bridging the gap between past grievances and a promising future filled with love and understanding. And they lived happily ever after. Well, dear listeners, I believe there are several lessons to be learned from tit for tat, the story. There is certainly good and bad in everybody. Some goodness in bad and something bad in goodness. Almost always. It is the balance of life. The African tales, stories and fables blue papa story. The heart is not so smart. What have you learned? African tales, stories and fables. By African Girl. Kindly like, subscribe, leave your thoughts, click on the notification bell and share our videos. Thanks for watching and see you next story.